Hey everyone, this is Brian from ActiveMelody.com. I'm going to show you how to play that note for note in this lesson. If you want to download the tablature, you can over at www.activemelody.com. Alright, so let's break this down. Now the first thing to point out is when you actually start playing this. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to count uh, four and not play anything. And then you're going to, on the second measure, you're going to count one, two, and on the two is where you're going to start playing. Now let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. So you're going to say one, two, three, four, one, two. See how I started playing on the two? So it's one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay? So that's just, I wanted to point that out up front. That's how you know when to start it, uh, based on that, that sort of little intro part there. So here's what's going on. We are in the key of E, and I am using a pick on this one, on the, the uh, other Delta Blues, I was just using my fingers, but this is a pick lesson, and so there's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, just alternate picking, you know, down, up, strokes, and a few spots I'm going to use my finger along with my pick, and I'll show you where those are, but anyway, the first thing that happens is I do this little run that goes... And what I'm doing there is I'm taking my pointer finger and I'm sliding up to the third fret, second string, and my middle finger goes to the fourth fret, third string. And so I'm sliding up and I'm playing those first two notes. So that's string three, two, back to the string three. And then we're going to play the, the high E string, which is just an open string. And then we're going to come back and play the second string and the th third string. Just like that. So it's... And notice my picking pattern. It's down, up, down, up. So it's down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? So that's how we're starting it. And then we come to this part. It goes... And what I'm doing there is I'm just sliding back down from the uh, third fret, uh, I'm sliding, uh, I'm sorry, the fourth fret, third string with my middle finger, I'm sliding down to the second fret on that string. Then I play on the first fret on the third string. Then I come down on the fourth string with my middle finger and play the second fret on the fourth string. So it's... Okay, so then we're going to come up while we're holding that and play, actually I play the, the, really the top two strings, or it could even be the top three strings. It's really the E chord, that's what you're doing. Now you're not making the full chord because you don't have time with your left hand, but that's what's going on there. So it's... Okay, and then we go... And what I'm doing there is I'm just walking up to that B 7th chord. So I'm starting on the A note, the open 5th string. Then we're going to come to the 1st fret on the 5th string with my pointer finger. And the 2nd fret on the 5th string with your middle finger. The reason you want to make sure you use your middle finger is because then you're right in position to make that B 7th chord. And the way that I make that chord um, is... Just like that, middle finger, second fret, uh, fifth string, pointer finger on the first fret, uh, fourth string, and then my ring finger on the second fret, third string. And I'm kind of just playing those middle four strings, so... Okay? So, and it's the walk up to it that really makes it nice. Okay? And then, so you've you've kind of set the you've set set it up there really, uh, set the context I guess. And now you're going to get into kind of that blues, you know, the typical twelve bar blues shuffle, which is that thing. And all I'm doing for that um, is I'm pushing down on the uh, second fret fifth string with my pointer finger, and I'm playing strings. 
6, and 5. Just those two strings. And, and what gives it that nice effect is to take your right hand and kind of lay it over the strings there because you're kind of muting it with the right hand so you get that nice little muted effect. And okay, so, so that's what I'm doing there. And then I'm taking my pinky. Now, some people use their uh, ring finger. For some reason, my I've always done this with my pinky, but I take my pinky finger here and I come to the uh, fourth fret on the fifth string and push that down, then back, then back. So I'm pushing it down, I'm releasing it. Okay, so that's kind of the rhythm. So it's just a it's got a little bit of a shuffle to it, so it's not straight. It's not like that. It's Okay, and I actually don't do it that long because what I do is I go. I do this little. Okay, so let me show you that. And what I'm doing there is I'm taking my middle finger, putting it down on the third fret, sixth string. And then I'm taking my ring finger and putting it on the fourth fret sixth string. And that's kind of a hammer on. So once I play this note, I kind of hammer on with my uh, ring finger there on the fourth fret. And then I come up and I hit the fourth string because this is already kind of forming a bar anyway, just to push down on that, uh, that fifth fret there. So I'm kind of barring that. So the note that I'm actually playing is that note, which is the uh, second fret, fourth string. But since my fingers are already there, kind of barred, let me try that again. Now watch for the right hand. So it's just one pick, there's the hammer on, and then it's an upstroke on the fourth string. Okay, so what we've got thus far then we come back and go just two, one, two. Because uh, what you're doing is you're setting up for what I'm doing is I'm playing there's kind of two ways you can do this probably the easiest way to explain it anyway and, and maybe to play it is just to keep that bar and while you're barring you're really if you notice what you're doing you're kind of pl uh, playing the notes um, or the frets that are in the A chord which is the chord you're about to go to but anyway, you kind of hint at it by going, even though your low note is an E, you're playing that A chord, so it's, and what, all I'm doing there, I'm barring the second fret, and I'm playing strings four, three, and two. And in actual fact, when I break it down, I'm really only playing strings four and three. I don't think I actually hit all three, but you could if your finger slipped, but anyway. Then you come back to the low E, and then you go. And all I did there was I just made an E chord, and I just hammered on with my pointer finger. And then I come back and I do an upstroke on the first two strings. So just practice that piece over and over again until you get it. So. Now notice when I did it that time, I switched and barred that with my middle finger. Not really sure why I do that, to be honest. You could do it either way. 
it's just whatever's easier. It seems easier to me to bar that, to switch fingers, go ahead and switch fingers there and get that middle finger in place. So you can more quickly, uh, or more easily I should say, uh, create that E chord. It's really just up to you whether you want to bar with your, keep barring with your uh, pointer finger or go ahead and switch there. So let me play the whole thing up to that point slowly. And then what I do is, you know, I keep tapping my foot, just a constant one, two, three, four. Uh, that that's going to help you. And if when you're learning this, set a metronome or something, or if you've got a good, you know, sense of rhythm, you know, tap your foot. Because the next thing that happens is this little uh, thing. And when you're when you're hearing it in real time, that that you're kind of doing that in this kind of weird time signature. So you're going. Even though if you listen to my foot tapping, you know, it's kind of going, uh, it's kind of counterintuitive to what the, the actual rhythm is. So that one may take a little bit of practice to get that sort of time, but it's this one, two, three, four. It's kind of a, uh, like a triplet type feel. And what I'm doing note-wise, those are the first two notes that we kind of started the song with. I'm just sliding up to the, again, the third fret, uh, fourth, I'm sorry, the, the third fret second string with my pointer finger, and then the fourth fret uh, third string with my ring finger. And I'm sliding into that each time I'm going. And I'm just playing those two strings. So it's the um, the second, I'm sorry, the third and, yeah, it's third and second string. And when I'm doing that with the, the with the right hand, I'm just playing downstroke. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay, and then after that, I do this little run that goes. Now, don't be intimidated by that. Um, it's actually not that difficult, and most of this you've already done. So what we're doing is we're sliding from we're taking uh, middle finger, uh, third string, fourth fret, and we're sliding down to the second fret. Then I'm going to play the first fret on the third string, and then the second fret on the fourth string, and then I'm going to come up and hit that high E string, that open E string. So, okay. Then I'm going to come to the, and I I use my middle finger to do this. Uh, come down to the third fret, second string. 2nd fret, 2nd string, then an open string, so it's the open B string, or the 2nd string. So slowly, up until that point, it's... Then we take our middle finger and come back and play the 3rd string, 2nd fret. And then, while you keep that held down, you come up and play that second string, second, second string open again. It's kind of a cool clash. So it, and then, now if you'll notice what that is again, that's really just that E chord. But I'm not making the whole chord because I don't have a time to do it. If I'm doing it fast, so I just go. So it's just hammering on to the first fret, third string, and then doing an upstroke and trying to grab, you know, the first string or the first two strings. Well, that time I grabbed too many. Yeah, like that. So slowly, that whole part goes. All right, so with the right hand, it's just alternate picking, down, up, down, up. All right, so then what happens is I play this little, and really uh, that happens so quick. It's not like it's a very methodical, thought out, you know, hitting that that D string. But um, I guess that's kind of what happens when I sort of broke it down. So all I'm doing is I'm hitting that, you know, down, down, up, 
with my picking pattern is just the open D string or the fourth string. Then I come down to the third fret on the sixth string, play that low G note, do a little bit of a bend, and then come in and grab, really all I'm playing is the, the fifth string and the fourth string, those two strings. But I'm barring the first four frets there on the second fret, and so that's really creating that A chord. So if I happen to hit more than just the those two strings, that's okay got sort of the chord already in place. So that's what you're trying to do to get you to the A part. All right, so backing up. That's where we're at. Alright, so now that you're in place with the A, what you play is... That's the first thing that you do. Now that's the same... Same little thing that we learned down here when we were doing it with the E. Where you do that little hammer-on between the 3rd and 4th fret. It's the same thing, but everything is shifted up uh, a set of strings. So now we're on the... The pinky goes down on the, the fourth string, fourth fret. And that little part is again on the third and fourth frets, but it's not, this time it's on the fifth string. And we come up and grab that high, uh, uh, the third string. So it happens right away, that little run, so it goes. And then I do this little thing that goes. Okay, and that that's borrowed right out of the Eric Clapton playbook. Eric, I hope you don't sue me for that, but love that run. Not sure where Eric got it from. Um, but here's uh, how that works. So I take my middle finger and I'm on the uh, third string, fourth fret. Then I slide up to the 6th fret. Then I play with my pointer finger, I play on the 2nd string, 5th fret. Okay? Now I take my ring finger and I come up here and I do this little... And I'm starting on the 7th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret. All of that's on the 1st string. Okay, and then you come down to the third fret and give it a little bit of a bend just to knock it a little bit sharp. And what I'm doing there is I'm going third fret, first string, open, first string, open, second string. Okay. we do this little so now to play that part uh, we're just gonna kind of and we've this will be a repeat of something this will be familiar but you're taking your middle finger you're sliding from the third string fourth fret down to the second fret on the third string again the first fret and then the second fret on the second string and then we come up and grab that the top uh, E string or the top two strings. So here's that piece together. Now you can see there's a lot of repurposed licks here. You probably don't notice that when you hear it up to speed. It doesn't sound like you're just repeating yourself, but when you kind of break it down, um, it actually kind of surprised me, you know, you, usually you, you play this stuff and you don't analyze it quite so much, but there's a lot of repetition, and that's okay. I think I think your ear kind of, people's, people like that. They like that, um, you know, kind of the predictability of 
where the song is going, maybe. I don't know. But um, anyway, so the A part, uh, I'll play it slowly up to this point. It goes... Okay, so this next run is uh, challenging. Uh, just be, this will probably be the hardest part of the the, uh, the song. It sounds like this, and even then you can see I missed a string. Um, just because it's you know the speed of it, and you're kind of jumping around across strings, but you can do this. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna start with this hammer on on the second fret fourth string, just like that. Start with an open, and then and it happens right away. So. So it's one, two, three. Then, and notice I'm alternate picking that as opposed to just uh, doing downstrokes. That's because if you're doing anything up to speed like that, you've really got to kind of uh, alternate pick it. So, open D string or fourth string. Then we come down to the uh, fifth string on the second fret, with, and notice I'm using my middle finger for all of that. Then I come down to the first fret on the first, first fret on the fifth string with my pointer finger. All right, so now to get this little tricky run, it goes like this. And all I'm doing there is I'm starting with an open A on the fifth string. Uh, and then I'm doing a hammer on and a pull off at the same time on the first fret of the fifth string. Just like that. And then I come down to the third fret on the sixth string. Then I let go of the sixth string, just play it open. And then the final note in that is uh, the uh, fourth string. 2nd fret. So all together up until this point it sounds like this. And then the, the, um, the last part of that is... That's just that same little hammer on to the 1st fret 3rd string that we've done. Now I grab the top E string with my middle, I'm sorry, with my ring finger on my right hand. You don't have to do that. You can pick it, but it's just quicker for me just to grab it with my finger there. And while I'm doing that and sort of moving my hand back to hit this low E that we're about to hit, I'm going ahead and sort of forming the E chord, really the E seventh chord. So I form the E chord and then I put my pinky down on the third fret second string along with that E chord to give it that E seventh uh, uh, chord sound so it's now I'm not playing the whole chord but it's just easier for me to make the chord than it is to try and single out that note I don't know that's just that's just me but that's what's kind of going on the notes you're playing are that hammer on first fret the high E, the low E, and then that uh, second string on the third fret. And I do it with my pinky. Okay, there's a lot to digest there, but let's let me play the whole thing slowly. Okay, one more time. So now we get to the B seventh and it goes. Now that I'm definitely with my right hand, I'm using my ring finger. See what I'm doing there? Watch my right hand. It's kind of a combination of uh, using the pick. Really, it's just kind of going back and forth between the uh, fifth string there and uh, what's going on on the uh, second and third string with my with my right hand. So the chord that I'm playing, all I'm doing is doing that B seventh chord, 
just like that. And that you're just holding that with the right hand. I'm walking up to it, just like we did at the beginning. Okay, and then I'm playing the second string, back to the fifth, back to the third, or not back to it, but to the third. And then back to, and I'm hitting that second string uh, twice. So all together, that part sounds like this. Let me do it a little slower. a timing thing. Okay, and so then we close with this fun little run that goes. And what I'm doing there is I'm starting on the second fret, uh, first string, and I'm sliding up to the fourth fret with my middle finger. Then I'm playing that open E, and then the second fret. That's all in the first string. Then back to the open E. Now I'm on the second string on the second fret. And then I come back to the the open first string. So And then I do this cool little slide thing that goes And I'm not picking that. I'm kind of going so I'm, I'm going, I'm on the third fret there, third string, sliding down to the second. Then I kind of just do a pull off, like that. And then I jump down to the fourth string on the second fret. Okay, so. And then I do this. And all I'm doing there is I'm just making the E chord, but before I do, I'm going doing a hammer on pull off with that first fret, third string. So. Here it is slowly. And then up to tempo, it's... And I'm just really just making the E chord. Then I do this little uh, turnaround run. Love that, it's very easy to do. This is another good example where I'm using my pick and my ring finger. You don't have to do that, you could pick across the strings. But I'm going between the fifth string and really bouncing between the fifth string and the third string. So my left hand is just fretting on the fifth string, fifth fret, middle finger there. Then my pointer finger is on the third string, fourth fret. Okay, so that's the first thing. And then you just walk that down. All the way down. And when you're doing it fast, that's why I, with my right hand I'm, I'm doing this. So it's a pick and a pull with my finger, and then another pick. And then I do right back into that B7th, just that walk into the B7th. And then I closed it with an E7th chord. All right, so here's the whole thing played slowly.
you go. Make sure to go to activemelody.com if you want to download the tab for that.